Hi, my name is Jisoo Hong from South Korea. I speak Korean fluently, but Karen said that as my English is much better than your Korean, <laughs> <laughs> I should give a talk in English. So please bear with me, but don't be nervous. I prepare a lot of visual aids to help you understand me better. It seems that Lawrence knows much better and much more about my own country than I do. It's amazing that he knows all these intimate details about Korean politics. And he and Peter uh, cover so much ground that my job got a lot easier. Thank you to both of you. When Karen, through Peter here, invited me to this conference, I checked out the AFA website to see who's coming. Man, isn't it a gathering of such decent people? <laughs> Hitler admiring, Nazi loving, gun toting, Bible thumping, batshit crazy far right wingers from all over the world. As Hitler, I mean, Hillary said, <laughs> you are a basket of deplorables. <laughs> Excuse my Freudian slip. <laughs> I felt I belong here right away, and I couldn't miss it for the world. So here I am from 7,000 miles away from my home. <laughs> thank you, Karen, for the invitation. And Peter, thank you. Uh, by the way, are there any prostitutes who sell their souls for political <laughs> ideology? <laughs> New York Times, Washington Compost, <laughs> or CBS, AKA Complete Bullshit? <laughs> In case there are, you know that I'm just joking about us being Nazi here. The mainstream media all around the world are doing such harm to the public. They prevent people from grasping the reality properly. This is how they portray Donald Trump in the news. Immature, impulsive, temper tantrum throwing baby in septuagenarian body. They portray Boris Johnson the new British Prime Minister as Trump on steroid. I stopped watching or reading the mainstream media, both of Korea and the United States, after the wrongful impeachment of Park, President Park and the presidential election in the United States. They mass produced such garbage around that time. It is a serious problem that the Korean establishment and opinion leaders read mainstream media of the United States, especially New York Times, like Bible. So they have very negative and biased opinion on Trump. The mainstream media are WMD, weapons of mass deception. They do not speak truth to power, they speak lies to the public. Here's an example of how ignorant Korean opinion leaders are about what's going on in Europe. In the last general election, this young female politician, a rising star in the conservative party, ran a campaign that she was going to be a Angela Merkel of her constituency. It is a terrible idea, you know, to tell your constituents that you're going to, plan, you're going to ruin your country while in office. Angela Merkel, Christian Democrat, is such an oxymoron. <laughs> My journey that brought me here started three years ago. I worked as a translator for a living. I got an offer to translate this book, Trashing and Smearing Trump, so I had to fact check, you know? So I started some research, and one thing led to another. I got stuck into a rabbit hole so deep, like Alice in Wonderland. 
And I got red pills so strong, like Neo in the movie Matrix. There was a whole new world I didn't know existed. It was a world where there's no truth, but only different opinions with equal values. I was aghast at what's going on in the Western world. The Western world has been ruining, trashing itself with political correctness. There's nothing correct about political correctness. It's a misnomer. It's a political <laughs> crap. The Gatestone Institute opened my eyes to the reality of Europe. Thank you. Europe was in love with Islam and producing a non-fiction sequel to the great movie, Lawrence of Arabia. It was called Romance of Arabia. The UK was demolishing its glorious Camelot and constructing a camel farm in its place. <laughs> I came to know about grooming gangs, Tommy Robinson's ordeals, what Brexit is all about. Sweden, which many Koreans regard as paradise on earth, was morphing into a living hell. I had to tell my fellow Koreans all about this so that we don't have to make the same mistake. That is why I wrote this book. The title is loosely translated as Political Correctness That Catapulted Trump to the White House. But the title may be a little deceiving because Trump's name comes up only twice, in the prologue and at the epilogue. In between, it's all about how the political correctness has been ruining the Western world and how it contributed to the election of Trump. I quoted some of the speakers here, including Katie Hopkins. Is she here? No? Okay, can I, have, I can badmouth her. <laughs> <laughs> I find the kindred spirit in her feisty, strong, middle-aged lady with a sharp tongue, except, except the number of a husband, <laughs> which is zero. I don't, I don't hate men. I just cannot decide to pick one. <laughs> That's all. This cover was designed by Bosch Faustin, who happens to be friends with Karen. Is there a Bosch Faustin? Okay, give him a good, good hand for such a wonderful cover. But Trump does not do justice to this wonderful drawing, does he? <laughs> Unfortunately, what's happening in the Western world is also happening in Korea. Just like Karen said, the same stuff, just different continent. The current radical left government is very eager to catch up with you guys and speeding up the process of destroying our own country. Lax immigration policy, bringing in so-called refugees and pushing gender ideology, covering up the crimes of increasing illegal aliens. You guys call them undocumented immigrants, right? <laughs> then let's call drug dealer unlicensed pharmacists <laughs> so that we don't hurt their feelings. <laughs> the Korean establishment, both right and left, wants a lax immigration policy because they want to hire cheap labor. And the left want it because most immigrants stop the ballot box for the left party who is generous with government handouts. In Korea, ma majority of immigrants are from China, and Chinatowns are spring up, springing up like mushroom after the rain in my own country. Keep in mind that China is an ally to North Korea, which is our enemy. 
It is a hijra with Chinese flavor. Some illegal aliens commit a crime, leave the country, and disappear into thin air. There is no way to track them down once they disappear. This is a photo of an eight-year-old boy who was run over and seriously injured by illegal alien driver from Kazakhstan. The guy fled the scene and left the country. He's nowhere to be found. When President Trump formally recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, Palestine coalition of Muslims and the Korean radical left organization took to the street. So-called refugees from Yemen flew all the way to Malaysia and transferred the flight bound for South Korea. What kind of refugees flying in style to seek an asylum? Yemen is pro-North Korean country too. Even if you are denied a refugee status in Korea, you can still stay as long as seven to 10 years in Korea while your legal status is being disputed in court. This is the stats on refugees in Korea. The number of applicants are increasing fast, and most of them are from China and Islamic countries. The Natural Human Rights Commission of Korea recently added an extra box to check on the form that complainants fill out and submit for people who are neither female nor male. Radical feminists are spewing up irrational hatred for men. This is a photo of a feminist rally downtown Seoul. They are holding up a sign that says, excuse my French, dick not guilty, vagina guilty. <laughs> At one demonstration, feminist protesters demanded only biological females attend the rally. So I thought to myself, well, enjoy your biological status while it lasts. Your days are numbered. <laughs> Biology is a hate crime against trans people abroad. But do not complain about, do not complain when trans athletes beat the shit out of you. <laughs> This is a book cover of electronic books. Major booksellers uploaded this electronic book titled <laughs> Tips on How a Feminist Have Safe Sex with Her Companion Dog. <laughs> After so much uproar from the public, they took it down. Our founding father, Lee Seung Man, founded our country based on Western values. Upon that strong foundation, President Park Jong-hee built strong and sturdy social and economic structure with sage policies. We have been fully benefiting from these two visionaries for the past 70 years. They are the two ex-presidents hated and vilified most by the Korean left. Just like the Western left, the South Korean left has long been marching through the institutions and pretty much taken over the media, the academia, the education, the arts, and the entertainment. Their march culminated in President Park's wrongful impeachment. The left celebrates the impeachment as a successful people's revolution. Do you remember the French Revolution? all these guillotines and severed heads and the bloodthirsty cheering crowds. Well, three, three centuries later, that exact scene was reenacted smack in the middle of downtown Seoul. The guillotine was installed in a plaza and Mark's severed tie of President Park was skewered and the crowd cheered. 
We have a lot of mess to clean up. Korean spirit is rotten through and through. We need our own Trump who can fight the leftist ghost. No, we need a Trump multiplied by three and, and on performance enhancing drug. <laughs> to fight this crazy left government. More importantly, President Park's impeachment would not have been possible without 62 traitors in the then ruling conservative party. They are not lawmakers, they are lawbreakers. We have our share of rhinos, you know, Republicans in name only. Now these traitors are saying that what's done is done and we should move on. Some people say that it's water under the bridge and we should leave President Park buried under the mountains of lies because it's too hard to dig her up. But there are people like me and Peter who, who think that we should get to the bottom of it and restore the broken rule of law and President Park's honor. I'm not a Christian, but I truly believe that the truth will set you free. Amen. The left all over the world suffers from the same disease called SIDS, Socialism Immunodeficiency Syndrome. <laughs> Every single experiment of socialism throughout the entire human history has failed. Every single attempt to create a heaven on earth created a living hell. They never learn lesson from the past. What do you call doing the same thing over and over, hoping for a different result? Insanity. Bingo. I heard that when people ask artificial intelligence, to Chinese people, what Chinese people, most Chinese people dream about, it answered, immigrating to America. <laughs> they, Chinese, especially upper echelon, hate the United States so much, but they still immigrate to, the, want to immigrate to the United States. The Korean left are the exact same. They are hypocrites. They tell other people, do as I say, not as I do. They are anti, the Korean left are anti-American, anti-Japan, two of the most important allies to South Korea. And yet they send their kids to these countries to study. The pinnacle of hypocrisy is found in the current head of state, Moon's family. <coughs> His son studied at Parsons School of Design in New York. <laughs> His daughter studied at Kokushikan University in Japan, which is very right-wing university. The hypocrisy knows no bounds. I wrapped up my book with the following phrase. Ordinary Americans said F U F P C two and elected Trump. They thrust a humongous, ginormous middle finger at the establishment who were throwing away Western values and freedom. They shed so much blood to protect. A year later in 2018, Tucker Carlson, Fox News anchor, published a book titled Ship of Fools and said almost the exact same in the introduction. Trump's election was a throbbing middle finger in the face of America's ruling class. It was a gesture of contempt, a howl of rage, the end result of decades of selfish and unwise decisions made by unselfish and unwise leaders. So I guess Tucker and I are on the same page, although we don't look the same. <laughs> on screen, he looks a little frozen with the crossed, crossed eyes when interviewing 
somebody on the screen? <laughs> Sorry, Tucker, nothing personal. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just calling spade a spade kind of gal. <laughs> You are looking at the satellite photo of the Korean Peninsula. Upper left, upper half is North Korea. It's pitch black except a tiny shimmering speck of light, which is Pyongyang, the capital of North Korea, where Kim Jong-un and his cabal are living large while sucking the bone marrow out of their own people. <laughs> Lower half is South Korea. It's lit up with millions and millions of light. It is the light of prosperity, freedom, and hope. South Korea is the crown jewel of the Cold War. We together fought so hard to win. It is the living proof that Western values are much superior to the alternative. What happened to you guys? What happened to your Judeo-Christianity tradition and Western values? How come a single female Asian atheist like me had to roll up my sleeve and defend your own tradition? The only thing you guys preserved or conserved from Judeo-Christianity tradition seems to be mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. <laughs> Stop flagellating yourself and start appreciating what you accomplished. <laughs> I know that Western civilization is not perfect. Neither is any civilization. But compared to others, Western civilization built the most prosperous, free, tolerant, and humane society. I know that much, and you should be proud of that. <laughs> Don't commit cultural suicide, for God's sake. Man, it feels so good to boss around all you Western imperialists. <laughs> we have a long journey ahead of us. Let us embark a long march to take back our institutions from the left. We are in this together. Let us unite, not based on the same skin color, not on the same biological sex, not on the same religion, not on the geographical proximity, but on shared Western values. Let us fight for our freedom and our values to the bitter end and win this culture war. I'm confident that we will prevail in the end. One last thing. If I were American, I would vote for Trump in 2020. <laughs> because I'm not finished because, because the, he's the most entertaining president in human history. <laughs> Political crap destroyed the entertainment completely. So we might as well get entertained while we fight the left. Thank you very much.